All right. We are now going to discuss some of the dangers that are caused by these uh, radiations, the alpha, beta, and gamma radiations. If they are present around you, you have got to take some precautions and they are quite dangerous and they can cause a lot of health problems and they can basically kill you in some situations as well. So whenever you see this sign, this is a sign of danger and it signifies that there is radioactivity present around you and you should basically take some precautions and if you are not well equipped, just run for your life. You probably remember this sign from uh, one of the missions in Call of Duty. Uh, I used to play that game back in the day. Now, this radioactivity sign shows that there is danger of radiations around you and you have to take some precautions. So what are the dangers caused by radioactivity? Well, one of the thing about them is since they're ionizing, they can actually damage so they can make some changes and those changes are usually negative or they can just totally destroy or kill a living cell. So that means any biological life can be killed by radio radiations, um, whether it's a human, whether it's an animal or whether it's a plant. So this can happen and your organs can fail and you can probably die if there is too much exposure to radiations. Uh, they can change basically the chemical instructions or should I say the DNA instructions of the cell. Now the DNA contains instructions for the cell to reproduce but if those instructions are altered by the radiations they can grow abnormally fast and that is what leads to tumors and cancers. Now they can also cause skin burns and something called radiation sickness and Basically, to avoid all these dangers, it's, it's just important to have less exposure time and also keeping your distance as much as possible, right? So, how can we prevent ourselves from these dangers if there is no other, uh, let's say, if there is no other choice that we have? First of all, let's also discuss out of alpha, beta and gamma radiations, which ones are the most dangerous? Well, we have learned that alpha is the most ionizing. So we can say that if everyone is given the same amount of chance to hurt you, alpha could probably do the most damage, right? Because it's the most ionizing. But the thing about alpha is that it cannot penetrate your skin. Remember, it can be stopped by a piece of paper or your skin. So it doesn't go inside your body where it can do the most damage. So the only way it can be taken into your body is if it is inhaled, if it's present in the air and it can be inhaled by you and if you're not wearing a mask. So wearing a mask is basically uh, enough or covering your nose and mouth is enough to prevent you from alpha radiation, right? Or if it's uh, present in your drink or your food, and you basically eat it and it goes inside your stomach and then becomes part of your system. That way alpha can be most dangerous. But if they're all, uh, if you're given, uh, taking all the precautions, then it's actually more difficult to uh, protect yourself from beta and gamma radiations. Why? Although they're less ionizing, the problem in that, uh, with them is that the skin cannot stop them. They will go inside your body through the skin and that means that there's more chance of beta and gamma radiations hurting you and causing all the problems that we discussed. Although the damage might not be as much as alpha, but they are most likely to get inside your body. Now, what safety precautions can be taken? If you so see that yellow sign, first of all, we are lead lined gloves. Now that has lead in it and they would be quite heavy because lead is quite dense and use tongs to keep your distance from radioactive materials. Don't just pick, up, pick them up with your bare hands. So basically, the rule is to just maintain your distance. If you maintain your distance, you would be better off, uh, if not completely safe. So the lead lined gloves kind of look like this from the outside, but they have a layering of lead inside, which can prevent even gamma radiations from entering your hands. Now, what else can you do? If there's beta and gamma radiations present, then just covering your hands and your mouth is not enough. And basically, you gotta wear a proper suit 
and even that suit has a proper layering around it which is thick enough to prevent radiation from going inside and a proper hazmat mask has to be worn and goggles has to be goggles have to be worn so they don't enter your system through the eyes and the nose and the ears or your skin so a proper suit has to be worn which will protect you from radiation what else can you do well since we want to re uh, reduce our exposure time so workers who have no choice but they are in, in in an industry where radioactive materials are used so for example someone who works in a nuclear power plant or someone who is a scientist and does research on radioactive materials and is studying radioactive decay or some nuclear reactions well they have to um, do the work and they will have some exposure but they can reduce their exposure by wearing these badges on their chest and these chest uh, these badges have basically photographic film which is clean and clear to begin with but as time goes on and as you're exposed to more and more radiations it starts to blacken and when the photographic film is really really getting dark or it has become gray or black that is a sign for the worker to take a break or you know take uh, take the day off and go home and reduce their exposure to radioactive radiations now if you are transporting or storing the materials in a facility then it has to be done in proper containers they should probably be made of lead steel concrete or materials that are thick and properly sealed so there is no way that the radiation can come out of those boxes if they are sitting there in a lab or in a cupboard or let's say in the storage compartment of a nuclear power plant right so this was um, enough for this video and i think i'll see you in the next part we will cover the rest of the chapter